Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're gonna stop by Bombay Beach again in my videos. I think I've stopped here before. And uh, Claire, Claire, I was quizzing Claire on the way down. I was like, Claire, do you wanna see the water? Yeah! No. <laughs> and then I told her, I said, well, do you know what you're expecting to see or what you're about to see when you go down to the water's edge? And she's like, is that the one place? <laughs> With the dead fish. <laughs> she's, oh, yeah, it is. So here we go. Let's go through the neighborhood. Let's show you a uh, it's almost like a ghost town that's habitated. Did I say that right? It's like a park. It's, I don't know. It's cool. It's funky. It's weird. It's different. And uh, it, it's like a functioning ghost town. That's all I can say. Actually, you know what you could also say is, it's almost like a tornado went through a, uh, like a meth trailer park, basically. It straight up looks like a trailer park. Like yeah. a shitty beach time. It is. But you know, it used to have this luster back way before our time. And it used, to, I don't know, the idea of the Salton Sea, it was, it was an accident that was going to be turned into like the California Riviera. But um, it didn't quite turn out like that. You know, usually some really inexpensive places cities this is what I've noticed around the country once the artists moves in the artists move in to the area it makes the property values go up we just stumbled upon this gem of a place on uh, Avenue D and 2nd Street in Bombay Beach it looks like actually some younger kinds of people over here and uh, looks like they're probably artists because I would imagine this is what they do to make money and uh, cheap real estate if you're an artist that's a great combination here so who knows maybe these guys are pioneers out here uh, this is definitely up uh, nomadic fanatics alley Like I was saying, I haven't been down here for a few years and I don't really know what's going on in the local community. I don't know anybody who lives here, but this type of a place seems ripe for emerging artists who are low on money, who are high on life, high on the arts to, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe even scoop up a cheap, you know, property thing and, and, and do art all the time. You know, it's really hard to make it as an artist and I feel like if you have, you know, really inexpensive place to be, and you have a little ambition and a lot of creativity, I feel like, you know, you could live your best life out here. Um, of course, it does get disgustingly hot in the summertime. And that looks like some interesting place there, so we're gonna drive by. But, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is like the beginning phases of a resurgence of Bombay Beach, I have no idea. Um, but everything else, it's like a, like I said, a functioning ghost town. It's like a place that, it, it, like a RV park with a bunch of meth addicts got uh, hit by a tornado. But there's also something over this levee up here. With a bunch, I don't know, there's like a little installation, I think. Oh yeah, we're gonna check this out next. That looks interesting. Area 51. Look at that, you see this? <laughs> Be careful. Oh, Let's check the mail today. Let's see what's going on. Oh, here we are. I am the plan of life, the Gospel of John. It's a little Bible and a Polaroid picture and a postcard. Another Polaroid. I think it's Arizona. Is that Arizona? Looks like it. It's outgoing. Claire and I were just discussing the fact that this looks like kind of a Mad Max kind of area with people putting all sorts of uh, trash art uh, in different places like this uh, very interesting um, door. Can you open it? It's locked. Will you let me in? Oh. oh, got it. Got oh, it. there's chalk. You can draw on it. I know. <laughs> what? That's so cool. So it is kind of cool, right? Like. Again, if you're like a struggling artist, if you don't have money, 
you can go out into the desert and take trash and turn it into art. I've seen it several places like the Dollhead Trail in uh, outside of, what is it, Atlanta, Georgia. The Salvation Mountain Slab City thing has a current sort of theme going on. You know, and there's, you can't really see it, but there's a dude way down there. And he's putting like a little driftwood teepee together. And he's shirtless and he has pants on. Not that it has to do with anything. It is a warm day out here. It's like 70 degrees. Um, but, you know, art is the up to the interpretation of the viewer as seen by a banana duct taped to a wall that was like some ridiculous price. Interesting fun facts about the Salton Sea. It's 343 square miles of area. The maximum depth, depth is 43 feet. So imagine a lake 34 miles by 10 miles wide. The fish in this lake, and I'm probably walking over because they're always dead, is a Mozambique tilapia. <laughs> Why a tilapia or any fish of that matter can survive in such a saline environment, I have no clue whatsoever. Um, and the fact that someone went all the way out there <laughs> All the way out there into the lake, that's probably a good, I don't know, 50 yards, 40 yards, something like that, and put that stuff in there in this nasty stuff, beyond my comprehension. Now, I don't know, because I'm not editing this stuff yet. I'm just looking at it. Oh my god, I just saw larvae of some sort. Oh, that's really? disgusting. Yeah, I bet bugs grow in here. You can see, ew, there's one that flew to the surface. Why oh my god. It. It's like an amphibious creature right there. Look. No. <gasps> Isn't that gross? What? So all this slime is some kind of algae. Um, a lot of times it smells really bad, and I don't know if that's a smell of the decaying uh, sea creatures. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a smell of dead rotting fish or what. It's just, it's insanely disgusting. The history of this place, to be very brief, is that... The Army Corps engineers were doing something with the Colorado River. Something happened, and then all this water f flowed down here, and uh, I think it was a months long thing. Google it if you're curious, but that's kind of how this whole thing formed. It doesn't smell that bad today. That bad. Yeah, it's still not Grace. <laughs> Would you go swimming in there? God, no. Why not? It's brown and it's stagnant and like I'm from Texas and we have bad lakes but like this is <laughs> this, this might be worse. <laughs> this, is, this is a whole different animal. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. I have no idea what this is but... It looks like it has potential. <laughs> like to be something really cool. <laughs> This could be all that it ever was meant to be right here, but yeah, you're right. It looks so cool though. Yeah. It's like my favorite thing out here. I think, honestly, I think this is cool, turning trash into art, all jokes aside. Um, but uh, yeah, like check this thing out over here. I mean, if you're just bored or whatnot, you could just make a dragon in the sand. You gotta watch your step out here because you never know what you're stepping on or under. Yeah. Get your tetanus shots before you come out here. But, uh, out of way. Interesting. I don't know. It's just, it's really bizarre out here. But if you're, you know, looking for something different or, you know, want a free camp on one of these things, bring a hammock. All right, guys, as promised, I saw this from the uh, levee behind something called Foundation. I don't know if it is open to the public. The gate is open. It looks like there's all sorts of origami butterflies all over the fence, which is super cool. Definitely uh, a Kodak moment. <coughs> An Instagram picture waiting to happen. But um, yeah, very interesting. I don't know the story of this because nobody is here. But yeah, pretty neat, huh? Well, I just came across the Bombay Beach Opera House next to this very interesting, I don't know. This is the botanical artwork. garden. Artwork? Botanical garden? That's what the sign says. Oh, this is the Bombay Beach Botanical Garden, as you can see. All the botany right before our very own eyes. Right here are some of the 
botanical garden <laughs> things. A chopped up dehydrated onion. Oh, onion. That's so funny. Guys, the gifts of Bombay Beach keep on giving. <laughs> also, you guys got to watch out for the Sunday yard sale. Oh, man, I don't know if that's a joke or not, but look where we are. We are at the Bombay Beach drive-in. <laughs> I think these guys have been parked here for too long. What do you say, Claire? Yeah, I don't think they're going anywhere. Uh, some of the viewers might recognize these cars. This is way before my time. I know there's a Volkswagen bus over there, and it looks like a Nissan pickup. Some kind of a Nissan, and I have no idea what the heck this thing is. Maybe a Studebaker or something. Not even going to guess about that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one's sold. Yellow Camino. That one's got seats in the back. You see that? Oh wow, they're matching. You see this little small one and that one? They look like little boat cars. If you guys have ever seen those. And uh, looks like somebody was up to some action here. Someone's bra is hanging from the, uh, the roof. Somebody got lucky. <laughs> somebody got the lucky. Worked. That's right. And look at these. This is like an old Wayne's World car. Oh my gosh, are these is it VCRs? a gremlin? <laughs> There's Red. books in here. Oh no, There's... those are VCRs. Oh yeah. That's cool actually. I like or VHS. That. Or yeah, whatever. And it looks like there's a stadium seats and um, some sort of a Ferris wheel bucket seat of some sort. Some kind of other kind of golf car or something. I have no idea. This place is wacky. Right, I really. I this, I re you could. I don't know if I'm really into this panel van. Oh, it's even converted with a bed in there. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe we should con convert one of those next. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of. Oh my God, look at that old insulation. Gross. Anyways, there's some funky things going on. There's a boat with, yeah, anyways. I don't know, this is really cool. This is a lot cooler than my previous experience here. I stopped by, I think two years ago, and then I stopped by four years ago. And it looks like some people have been up to some rather creative things out here in Bombay Beach. Bombay Beach, the gift that keeps on giving. Let me show you guys something that I thought was a little bit funny when I rolled up to park here. <laughs> Slow, seniors at play. Now, if I remember correctly, this little corner used to be like the VFW place or something. I don't remember exactly, but I just remember a place and it was like, you know, come by, you know, pizza gathering at five o'clock on Thursdays or something like that. Um, now it is replaced with this gigantic, perfectly bent <laughs> airplane with some sort of thing on top. These look like Burning Man type exhibitions. This is definitely a permanent installation and um, uh, it is locked up there, but it does look really fun. Um, and it looks like, again, I don't know for a fact because I don't live here, but it seems like there's a little resurgence of quirky, artsy people in this neighborhood, probably because of proximity to everything else in Southern California, weird stuff over at Slab City, and uh, the prices are probably dirt cheap. Um, and uh, also proximity to Southern California because it's just so crazy expensive over here. But um, yeah, this is really cool. Um, so stop by Bombay Beach. I had no idea all this fun stuff was happening over here. Well guys, I guess I wasn't far off. If this is not a joke, it looks like they're trying to revive this small town, which is both exciting and sad at the same time because the gentrification of a forgotten wasteland is just so typical, you know what I mean? Uh, so anyways, who knows? I don't know the future of this place. It was an interesting stop. There was a lot more stuff happening. Uh, again, people follow the artists when, uh, uh, you know, just like Detroit and uh, the housing bubble crisis and There's all that a, stuff. So a coffee bar and a art bar in here. Currently? Yeah, that's what it says. Oh, it okay. It says, um, the locals interact with one another and plan upcoming festivities at the Black Crow Coffee Bar over breakfast. Next to the coffee bar is the art bar that houses the majority of the town's creative supplies. Oh, interesting. So there you have it, guys. This is uh, maybe not such a 
uh, post-apocalyptic place. Maybe maybe it actually is getting a, 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 a they revival. Have a festival. Who knows? They do? Yeah. Oh, interesting. There you go, Bombay Beach. <laughs> Oh, what an interesting day. I think that's gonna end it for this video because it's been such a long day and we've just been kind of yapping. So um, anyways, we're, we're going towards uh, Salvation Mountain, Slap City. I guess we'll put that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment. Don't be an a-hole. We'll see you the next time.